So good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you taking the time out this evening. So what I wanted to say to this, uh, to our city and our people and the people in this city, consistent with our policy to be transparent and let let our let our our community members know what's going on within this agency. We have decided to to move on with, from our contract with Armor, and we are moving forward with a company called NAFCARE. NAFCARE, we've done a lot of a deep dive into NAFCARE. Um, Hillsborough County actually uses them to this at the, today. Um, they come very highly recommended by them. And um, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to move in a new direction, doing the things that we're doing. We've uh, recently had some, in, some inner changes within our, within our agency and looking forward to, uh, to move forward from there. So I'll take any questions if you have any. Sheriff, can you elaborate on the changes you made? Why the new contract? What happened with Armour? And why this wasn't done sooner? So as I stated before, um, I've been looking at this since November. You know, JSO is a big place with a lot of different working parts and moving parts. So I've been looking at this for a long time now and how we were gonna address this moving forward. The time came where I had to wait till we got our, our mayor in office and I wanted to make sure they understood what was going on. So I've talked with our mayor and discussed some things with our mayor and, and the time was right to be able to do this. And we need to, to work through some other processes to make sure that we can get this done and get this done as quickly and efficiently as possible the right way. Sheriff, sure, that's been linked to I wouldn't have done it if I was if I had that that kind of concern. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you this: you can look at any medical facility in North Florida, throughout the state of Florida, and they all have issues. They've all had lawsuits. They've all had those things. But at some point, you have to look through it very carefully and make sure that you're making the right decision. That I think we did, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to uh, to have them serve our inmates in our in our in our, in our jail. Well, first of all, we're moving on from armor. NAFCARE, our contract has things in it to make sure that we are safeguarded, our community is safeguarded, and our inmates are safeguarded. Can you talk about what those things are? Nope. When will the transfer of responsibilities to NAFCARE happen? Oh, excuse me? When will the transfer of responsibilities happen? Well, September 1st. No, that's a, a huge contract with armor. Do we still have to pay that? Did you just end it? What happened? I ended it. It's over. But we don't have to pay. It's over. The contract's over. Who signs off on that contract? Is it you or the council? The contract's been signed off on by us, and the mayor's office also signed off on it. There's also being reported that deaths have tripled at the jail since um, private, you know, it went private in 2017 with armor. Can you, all, can you verify that? Nope. I cannot. Not at this point. Can you elaborate on what happened here at the sheriff's department uh, with the staff with the jail? Were people let go? Were they transferred? because of all of this, because of the situation? So when I say a new direction, I'm holding ourselves accountable at the agency. We make changes because I felt like there needed to be a new direction, a new change, so we did that. We did that for our, with our director, we did that with our chief of jails, and now we're changing um, our, our medical provider. Was anybody um, transferred as a result of armor and everything that had happened? No, there was a, there was a, different, a bunch of different reasons. That article in the, uh, in the tributary is wrong? I actually don't, did, didn't read it. I, I don't read that because I know the truth, I know the inner workings of the agency, and I don't read those articles. A question for the mayor? Sure. Mayor Deegan, you're just stepping into this role, I know. Um, what are your thoughts on switching this quickly on this to a new company? Did you have time to look into this? It's part of your budget, what's going to happen in there, and what about the future? Well, look, this is a decision that, that we left up to the sheriff. Uh, he took a look at, at uh, everything that was happening, um, all the issues that have, have uh, you, know, you know very well, uh, and I think he made a decision that he felt was in the best interest of, uh, of the citizens of Jacksonville. You know, we talk a lot about, um, about creating a, an atmosphere of transparency, and I think that it's important that, you know, you, you're watching this that all in action. Um, you've seen all of this unfold. Uh, and, and you've seen uh, the sheriff make a decision for what he thinks is best. So um, I would say that the fact that he's here and sharing that with you today says a lot about uh, how this city and how this, uh, this JSO is gonna, gonna operate. A new contract was signed last night, as I understand. How much, how, what, you know, how much it went for? 
question. So the new contract's for about $110 million for five years. And it was yesterday afternoon, late, late yesterday afternoon. Thank you all very much. Thanks, sir.